This is a short demonstration of one of our semi-automated wet process stations. This particular model has seven feet. Uh, it is a plastic shell made from FM4910 compliant material. It has a programmable logic controller, control system, and a graphical user interface. You notice it has a fully enclosed and exhausted process area, and the front axis doors are interlocked for safety. Um, inside there are filter baths, quick dump rinsers, and a nitrogen dryer system in addition to the load and unload system. Tools like this can be used in the semiconductor, solar, MEMS, biomedical, data storage, and other industries. Loading the product is very easy. You unlock the load port, slide out the load drawer, guide the carrier into the slot, it is keyed so that it cannot be put in backwards. Close the door and you'll see that the, the load door locks to prevent the operator from uh, accessing the area when the robot is, is, is trying to pick up the product. Once the operator loads the product into the load drawer, he returns to the graphical user interface, selects the process setup button, followed by the select recipe button, this gives the operator a selection of recipes that have been predefined pre by uh, an engineer. He selects the correct recipe and verifies that the correct steps are shown. He must then enter a lot number and then select the rest release to process button. Once the recipe is downloaded, the robot will pick up the product and continue with the process. The first step is, the, is tank one, which is a process step with uh, an acid bath. It, has, it is a recirculating mo module with an ultrasonic uh, agitator. You'll notice that the z-axis uh, agitates up and down. This is uh, recipe selectable, uh, the speed and stroke. The next step, it enters the quick up rinser to remove uh, excess chemistry before going to the next process step. Multiple fill and dump parameters are available. You can fill and dump multiple times, uh, top spray and bottom fill. The product is now entering the second process tank and agitates as well. You'll notice that at the top of the stroke, the robot pauses momentarily. This is a drip delay, which uh, allows excess chemistry to fall off into the existing tank before moving to the next tank. The next process tank is another uh, process. Another drip delay. The last step is to enter the, the QDR. Now on top of this particular QDR, we have some air knives. Uh, the, the product is withdrawn slowly um, after the quick dump process is complete. The air knives are turned on and that blows off any excess water. After the last step, the product is placed back in the load drawer and the process complete alarm sounds. Please visit our website at amerimade.com to preview all of our products. Thank you.